Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Sai. How the devil are you, mate? Hey, on this bloody beautiful Thursday. Epic, mate. Maximum. Anyway, today we're going to be looking at a little channel called Shadow Man. Make sure you go to his channel, subscribe, and do the thing. Because this channel is epic. This video is called The Scariest TikTok Videos of 2021. Okay. Buckle up, mate. It's going to be a, a roller coaster of emotion. I, I don't know. I haven't seen it. But anyway, mate, without further ado, Dark Dilly Day. Let's do this, shall we? Hmm? 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 You like? Shh. Go on, Shadow Man! The scariest TikTok videos of 2021. Yes. Forcing around. The following couple of videos come to us via the page Slamuri. This TikTok account is run by an unknown father of one. This man records the strange stuff that goes on in and around his, Is that Thanos? his own house. It's not clear why the house appears to be haunted, but is said to have a lot of history. Ooh. Ride it, mate! Ride it! Ride it like a cowboy! The family is obviously creeped out by this supposed supernatural. Oh, some misty wisty as well! Or paranormal activity, because they've uploaded dozens of videos asking their followers for their thoughts. Come in! Oh, mate. Oh, his camera went funny as well, mate. Digital, dig, digital glitch. It really does appear as if the family's house is haunted. Mm. A rocking toy moving on its own, doors opening and closing, and mist enveloping certain rooms of the house. I don't know about you, but this is one place I probably wouldn't want to live. Mate, I would Rambo it, alright? Let's be honest. I'm a professional professional. I would just Rambo the shit out of that house. Watching over. Watching over. Ashley D or the Chipmunk Cheeks 5. As the she Chipmunk Cheeks. <laughs> goes by on TikTok as a mum, college student, and crafter. Ashley typically uploads videos of fun and interesting things, such as her animals and personal updates. However, a week or two ago, she recorded and uploaded something very unusual. Oh, mate. What the fuck is that? Wow. Watch it, mate! Get out of it! Is, watch it. Is it going to turn into like a... Is, you can't even see it. People were like, Ben, we can't see it. Move the effing camera, you donut. Watch it in case it turns into a face or something. Look at you. Hey? What the hell is that, mate? Mate, that's no... That's no, like, um... After Effects, right? Editing. They're zooming into that thing. It's going to hit that kid. A motion camera in Ashley's lounge records what looks like a small piece of mist flying around the room right above her child. The unknown entity darts back and forward, unlike any other insect most would confuse this with. Whatever it is, it looks as if it might even be looking over or watching over her child as they chill on the couch. Ashley suggests oh my or God. plays with the idea that this is something spiritual or something paranormal. Isn't paranormal spiritual? Isn't that what it is? I don't know. What do you think? I don't know, Make mate. Make sure to check out Ashley D on TikTok for any possible Ooh. update or follow-up videos. That is some good evidence, mate. Good evidence. Spirited away. Spirited away. This next short clip comes from TikTok and appears to show a reorg a traditional Javanese piece of art from East Java, Indonesia, seemingly move on its own. 
It's said by many that real God. <laughs> Maximum neck, please! What is a creative creation of the Javanese people that is formed from the existence of beliefs that have existed for generations? The clip in question shows an adult and a child dancing and singing inside a small room that has a ryog in it. It looks like the fucking predator! What happens next for the child is terrifying. <laughs> I'm just watching it, ready to move, mate. The predator fucking. What the fucking hell? He's fucking dancing! Is it still moving? Oh shit, his mouth is going, mate! No fucking way! No way! That's gonna be a prank on the kid! As we've just seen, two people were having fun listening to music when all of a sudden the Ryog hanging up on the back wall starts to move. This frightens the child straight out of the bedroom. It's thought that the job of the Ryog is to capture the spirits as they try entering certain spaces. Capture the spirits, mate! He's got a whole fucking party in his mouth! Yes. Legend is, or at least people in the area say that when a ghost rings the bells, the Ryog will try to capture the spirit by eating it. What? Very creepy. Question is, would you have one of these in your house? Uh, no. Imagine the bells ringing on it in the early hours of the morning. Jesus. Child's play. Child's play. Savannah, a young mother from Mississippi, uploaded this next creepy clip. Hey, 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 mm -hmm. hey, what? F you, mate. Next creepy clip to TikTok back in June of this year. That kid just ramboed it. I don't care, man. I'm gonna keep on slapping my legs. Savannah was recording her daughter one night playing with what looks like a stuffed bear or dog toy when, out of nowhere, this happens. Teddy's like, yeah, I'm playing. I'm playing, mate. I'm playing. Don't worry. I'm looking after it. I'm playing. Her daughter is playing with the toy when it suddenly moves its head and looks towards Savannah. She no! No! He says that she was terrified for her daughter at the time, but does have some idea on why the toy bear might just have moved on its own. Oh, here we night. go. Here we go. All right. Your house is built on a fucking, what's it called? Cemetery. Here we go, listen. So here's the story time on the bear. I work retail, so an older man that comes in there all the time. Okay, maybe not. He's very generous, you know, he's very quiet as well. He always says hello when he comes in. And this was around Christmas time of last year. So he was like- Did he have a black hat on? Was he like the dude from Poltergeist? Hi, child. Is your mom home? He's f mate, he freaked me the F out. If you know what I'm on about, mate, Poltergeist, number one. Hi, child. Oh, God, and his teeth. Like, um, I have a bear that I would like to give to your daughter. And he was like, well, that's only if you want me to give it to her. So me being a very generous person, I went to the back. I asked my boss, could my daughter receive this bear from this man? We're not allowed to receive tips or anything courteous from customers. Oh, shit. But my boss said it was okay. So before he left, boss is now fired. Shut the door. He turned around. He looked at me, and he told me that his grandbaby had passed away from SIDS, which is, if you don't know, sudden infant death. Oh. Which also means that a child dies without cause. So I was like, okay, didn't think anything of it. So I took the bear, and I brought it home with me, and you know everything was fine, everything was cool. But I hate to say this, you're gonna have to like for part two. So then I started to notice that my daughter was also talking to the bear. But I was okay with that because, I mean, kids are going to be kids. They're going to talk yep. to bears. But, but then I had also brought her to her father's house. And I brought the bear with me. So, 
we noticed that she kept getting out of bed during the day and at nighttime to go into that same exact corner to talk to the bear and play with the bear. I'm not gonna lie, it was scary at first, but like, she's a kid, we didn't think anything of it. So last night, she got up at 1 a.m. in the morning and remind you, I'm watching TV at the time. Her yeah. daddy was halfway asleep. Okay. So she gets up and she puts the bear in the corner. Right. Starts playing, you know, this clapping game with yeah. her thighs and all that. On the that. legs, yeah. So I started to record uh -huh. and I woke her daddy up and I was like, look, check this out. Yeah. So as I'm recording, he was like, it moved. Yeah. So I was we laughing, saw. I'm like, you know, what? what? You were like, it no. It actually moved. It actually moved. So yeah, I know. We saw it, mate. received some sort of haunted or inhabited doll from someone or could all of this simply just be a coincidence? Of course, you can decide that for yourself. Make sure to check out Savannah's TikTok page for any possible future updates. Ooh. Shadow person. Shadow bastard. A young man named Rue from Canada uploaded a creepy video to TikTok months ago. The clip in question gained almost a million views. The video shows Rue explaining how he has experienced paranormal events in his house more than just once. Mm. Kind of a big update. So this is kind of a video for the people who think it's staged or the people that don't believe that I've had paranormal experiences in okay. the house before. So in about 2012 or 2013, we had just had renovations done on our house. I made this video. It was probably about a like a five minute long video of me. Right just touring my house to show my grandparents who were living away at the time. I recorded it and sent it and then nothing like really became of it. In 2015, I was going through some old files on my computer and I came across the video. I noticed mm -hmm. there was something strange about it. So I took it and I uploaded it to YouTube to show my friends. And I think one of my friends maybe posted it on Reddit or something, but it didn't get any attention, you know? <laughs> oh, you're fucking joking, mate, aren't you? What? Look at the state of you, mate. Look at you! Look at you, you white bloody shadow bastard! And this is what the house looks like today. We did renovate again, but my Instagram and YouTube are both linked in my bio. You can go watch the video. I uploaded the video in 2015. Rue in the clip is walking through his house and no not going after way. a remodel. No way! No flipping way, mate! From years ago when he unknowingly captures what some people would call a shadow person or shadow figure st or shadow bastard standing behind some curtains in the next room over could rue and his family have something or someone living in their house with them who knows mate that was weird as oh, shit let me in, let me in. tiktok user abel 3e uploaded a video that his friend had recorded from a security camera in the early hours of the morning the camera is situated up high and points down towards the backyard fence line the neighboring house is said to have been abandoned for some time now however that doesn't mean too much because what was captured gave many people the chills What are we looking at, mate? Can you see that shit? You can't see it, Ben. Ben, you can't see it. A white silhouette or figure similar to that of a young girl can be seen walking or gliding by along the fence line. Why or even how such a young person would be out so late is beyond me. Wow, what? The original uploader and their viewers think it just might be a ghost of sorts roaming through the backyard of the abandoned house. Bloody clearly, mate, clearly! Next door. They uploaded a quick follow-up video a few days later showing exactly what is next door. But that just made things even harder to explain. Come on, come on. What are we looking? What are we looking? Oh shit in hell mate, that house looks freaky as F! Look 
at the state As of that. As the yard is full of junk, an old shed, and a high fence, perhaps this will remain a mystery to all the original uploader, his friend, and all of their viewers. I mean, like, I, I don't know. It, it could be, uh, you, you know, their, their, their daughter, who's just like, go out there and just walk back. We're, we're going to make this video go bloody viral, mate. I don't know. It could be, Haunted. but it's weird. It doesn't... It, it, it's just a mist of some sort, isn't it? Jersey. Oh, dead Jersey. These first few videos come to us from a young man on TikTok, Matt, or Matty Mags, as he is known on the platform, has been uploading some really creepy content lately. Matty lives in New Jersey and believes that he may just be living in a haunted house. Mm. It all started happening in August of last year when Matty uploaded a few short clips to TikTok that gave his viewers the creeps. Well... I thought I saw it moving a little bit. Oh, and fucking hell, here we go, mate. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's moving, mate. Yep, it's, it's moving. moving. It's definitely moving. Oh, man. Just fantastic. Is it a draft? No, Matty gets woken up at four in the morning by someone, or should I say something, that decides that they'll use the toilet in the early hours of the morning. Obviously, I'm just looking for fingers or something, you know, a head peeking round. Freaked out by this, Matt records what happens and wishes that stuff like this wouldn't happen while he's asleep or late at night. However, may that would fr like just imagine. I know it's only a slowly closing door and it could be anything, but just imagine chilling out at, at night trying to sleep and that shit happens, mate. You know, how can you explain that when it doesn't normally happen? It's an anomaly. And that wishful thinking doesn't go. What the fuck is it? Look at your eyes! Look at your eyeballs! too far because about a month or so later Matt wakes up to something pretty similar I'm bugging out yeah the fan is on but like oh shit in right. hell that is moving rapido a for a fan bro that is definitely not a fan that's nah. not a fan no, because why aren't the other clothes moving? That is... That's moving really strangely, mate. Um, because if it was the fan, like, the, the material would start to sort of, like, move as well. But it's not, it's just rocking. It's just rocking! What you doing to my jacket, buddy? What was that voice? And why did it start sopping? Thank you. Don't don't interact with it like that, mate. Don't interact. Ignore it. It'll go away. Matt shows that his ceiling fan is in fact on, but I don't think it would be strong enough to keep a shirt or jersey rocking no. like that. And even if it was, why aren't the other pieces of clothing also moving? Mm -hmm. But if that wasn't creepy enough for you though, Matt over the following weeks was awoken many more times. Including one such night that had him out of his bedroom exploring the rest of the house, trying to source the location of an unknown noise. I don't know, mate. Investigate oh, Rambo it! I don't know what that is. And now it stopped. I hate that frosty. Frosty, the oh, snowman! Man. Just gets weirder and weirder. I don't know, man. Oh, mate, get down there, Matt Rambo it! in the description of the original TikTok video that everyone in the house was asleep except himself. And he says that he doesn't know what the noise was. Viewers of the original video mentioned that they noticed the hand of the Frosty move as Matt no. pans past it. But I can't quite tell. What do you guys think? I didn't see it. Watch the left hand right there. What? I 
another TikTok. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think that moves, mate. I think you're just tripping out. That's pointed this out. A fucking cat. Is it a cat? Please Lord say you've got a cat. Appears to be a set of glowing eyes can be seen in the distance, staring back at Matt from downstairs. Is it in a minute? He's been like, and we don't have a cat or a dog. So, what do we think? Could Matt's house possibly be haunted? Leave your thoughts below. Also, don't forget to check out his TikTok page for many more creepy videos just oh, like these. Okay. Next door. Next door. An unknown woman who goes by the name Unicorn on TikTok uploaded this following video. The clip in question was uploaded a week or two ago by a mother who captured something very creepy while walking towards her daughter's bedroom. Mm -hmm. I've seen that one. I've seen that one, mate. Don't run out of the house. Get your bloody daughter, mate. Rambo, and get your door out of there. Run! As the mother approaches the door to her daughter's bedroom, the hanging door beads or blinds appear to move on their own. It is weird though, mate. It is bloody weird. They move in a way that would suggest something or someone is opening them just string. enough to peek out. String. So string. Out. However, as we can see here, there's no one in there. Could this unknown mother have caught a real paranormal moment on camera? Unknown. You decide. Simon says... Simon says what? Simon Lockhart, a man who does security at a hotel, has recently been documenting what he does at work. Simon's TikTok videos started to gain massive attention after Maximum a couple attention. of his clips showed some suspicious activity. Followers from Simon's TikTok page have suggested that the hotel he works at may just be haunted. Okay. Simon says the alleged paranormal things he's been experiencing may just be as a result of a man dying within the building just a few months back. Oh. I do security at a hotel. Oh, God. I do security at a hotel. W-O-W, -W, what is this? Fucking stop doing that voiceover. Oh, my God. You have to see this. I was making a video of where I go when I'm doing my round. I don't give a fuck! And then all of a sudden... A guy died here from an overdose a few months ago. <laughs> the staff lounge? Mm hmm I don't think he ever Good left. Nice Bathrooms? Banging! Nah, nah, nah. Did someone just say fucking hey then, mate? Hey! What's wrong with you? You're looking pretty dead to me. <laughs> mate. I set the camera up to see. Did, did he say hey? Are we not going to talk about that? Or was it the ghost that said, hey? What will happen while I was in the bathroom? This is what I captured. Mate, have you literally just gone in the toilet? Put a little symbol over there, said one minute, seven seconds later, and just gone. <laughs> he knocked himself. Oh, shit in hell.
I don't know about this, mate. I think he's just so fucking bored. Right, being in that hotel, day in, day out, right? Fucking early hours in the morning, swinging around his chair going, oh, fuck, please, just something happen. Please, fuck it, I'm, just, I'm gonna go. I, I, I'm gonna have my side, my side job now. And I'm gonna make some viral videos. He's just bored. I don't believe that one. Happened when I was finishing up my rounds. Hello? Bro, oh, why are the lights off? That should have a trip sign on it. Watch yourself, mate. Yep. Nope. Nope. I'm okay. Okay. All right. That was that was pretty legit. No. Nope. I'm in the bathroom right now. I'm not going to the bathroom if you're wondering. <laughs> but uh, I'm hearing like shuffling sounds outside the door. And I didn't put the camera on. Fucking hell! Bro. Bro, what the f was that? No. Okay, I take it back, mate. I take it back. Unless that was your foot kicking the door, but you, you, your head would have moved slightly. Your head wasn't moving at all. Okay? I take it all back. What is that sound? I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, I swear to God, I hear singing going on right now. What the? F oh, fucking! I just got shivers, mate. I just got chills there, mate. They're multiplying, and I'm losing control. No, 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 no. I did though. Oh, fucking what hell! Was that no? What the f was it's that? It's like a ah, ah. no. These first five months are merely just a fraction of what Simon has caught over the last few months while working at this supposedly haunted hotel. Ugh. He's since made over 20 update videos containing even more things that neither himself nor his followers can explain. Follow Simon on his TikTok page at Led It's yeah. Simon for all future update videos. Mm. Grandma's house. Grandma's house. Alex this is gonna be freaky as f, mate. A grandma's house. Alvo, a young father from America, inherited a house from his grandmother in a small town. On moving day, he recorded his journey out to the new property. Upon arriving, he wanted to film his kids' thoughts to the new place. However, in doing so, he may just have caught more on camera than just their reactions. Okay. Got everybody here. Heading on into the new house for the first time. Okay. Mate, this can't be a prank. This can't be. He's just moved in, okay? He's not going to prank his kids on the first day moving in, as pretending it's going to be haunted, right? It's not gonna happen. There you go. Yeah. See how scary. Oh, it's kind of scary, actually. Oh, look at all this stuff. Dollhouse for you, Salo. <laughs> so, there you go. Okay. Oh, um, fucking! It was that shadow bastard. This kitchen's pretty nice. It was a shadow bastard. I'm gonna close the door. Mate, I thought it was a shadow bastard. Alex's followers have suggested that even in this very first video that he recorded of the family's new house, he may just look at you. Do you see it? Something creepy. 
After first walking into the house, Alex records this. Bang! Bang! A somewhat creepy-looking figure of sorts can be seen in the reflection of a mirror. However, just moments earlier when the family first walks in, nothing similar can be seen. Oh, what? Now, this may just have been nothing, however, the following few clips may suggest otherwise. After hearing sounds coming from around the house, Alex gets up out of bed one night to check everything is okay. What he captures on his phone is just plain creepy. Oh, here we go, mate. So I just captured something else on tape. Um, while I was actually taking the tape, I did not notice it at all, but you go ahead and take a look at it and tell me what you think. Okay, I just heard a really loud noise coming up here from the same place where all the other stuff has been going on. Like something was dragging across the floor. Um, turn on the lights, like everybody says. <laughs> I know I heard something. I don't know. Let's see. Oh Christ. Oh fucking hell, mate! I don't know. There's nothing here. It was a flipping face! Here, I'm gonna turn on this light down here. While walking through the house, we saw Alex it, mate. unknowingly records what appears to be a face peering out from a dark wardrobe. Oh, fucking he didn't know hell. it at the time of filming this, but later on realized that he may just have captured the spirit of his grandmother. Oh, flipping hell, that's something straight from PT, mate. On another occasion, Alex is woken up after hearing what sounded like footsteps coming from upstairs. Intrigued and somewhat frightened, he grabbed his phone and went searching again. So I'm like, it'd be like, Grant, what are you doing in the bloody cupboard? Get out! Pretty sure that I just saw my grandma. Um, I'll just show you. I, I heard some noises upstairs, like before, just walking around. I came up to see what it was, was looking around, and I, I just, just check it out. Okay, I am up here where all the different, like, scary activity has happened, and uh, I'm hearing what sounds like somebody walk around on the floorboards. Did I As just, I'm up here, I, I, I feel like the pressure of steps landing around me. Um, I don't really know what's going on. It's uh, it just seems pretty crazy to me. I, I just this is I don't know. This is not what I signed up for when I got this house. This is not what I signed oh. up. Oh! Ah. Yeah. Ah. Come on! Ah. Come on! What was that? Holy! Shit. Holy! Shit. Is there somebody in here, or was that actually my fucking grandmother? Oh my god! Holy! Shit. Oh! Oh shit in hell! Oh fucking hell, mate! So, what are you this doing, Grant? Alex and his two girls inherited to be haunted or occupied by his grandmother, or could all of this be nothing more than a bunch of coincidences or something easier to explain? Check out Alex Calvo is haunted Jeez on TikTok Louise. for many more videos like these. Oh. There you go, mate. That was Shadow Man. Freaky deaky. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, how about leaving a little like, mate? And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and become a legend. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.